Prada, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna go over five cheap eats, five inexpensive places to eat here in Playa del Carmen. We have hit up these spots quite a few times. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know I love my food. Well, we love our food, like we will eat. And while we eat at these places, you know, a couple times, we'll eat at more expensive places. But when I say expensive, it's still cheaper than back in the States or Canada, well, Vancouver, where I went, I can talk about where I go, um, Paris, London, it's cheaper than a ton of those places. So it's not expensive. I guess it's expensive for the area. And because you're a tourist, you're paying those prices and you're saying it's cheap. But right now, we're just going to go over the super, super inexpensive, like under 100 pesos, under five bucks. You know, two fifty, two dollars, a dollar for for a plate of food or some tacos or whatever it is. So if you're coming, you're on a budget, or you just want to eat budget food during the day, because that's what we do sometimes. We eat budget food one day and then we ball out the next day. Budget food two days, go a little bit, spend it the next day. So whatever it is, and the fact is, they're good food. It's not like we're you know lowering our standards or you know whatever standards are but you're still eating good and you're still getting super full uh we have tried a ton of places but today we're just going to go over five and then in the next video i'll do another five or you know whatever it is but i'll share with you those places and if you're not following me on instagram be sure to go over because i always post like even if i don't do a video on the places to eat I always post pictures of my food and I tell you how much it is and where it is I'll tag the restaurant stuff like that so I will do a video also on you know just rounding up a couple more so come on and check out the five that I have for you today okay so the first place I have uh, listed is El Pechugan oh my goodness the best chicken you will have like they have the chicken going constantly on a spit and it's just going around and around and just cooking and the juices and the smell and <laughs> the seasoning and you're like oh my god mind blowing chicken it is so good there is one right on where was that one again on juarez and um, benito like right when you're coming off the beach so it's closer to fifth if you're staying down there so you'll be able to just walk to that easily that one is a little bit more pricey than some say more in you know in the uh local neighborhoods the one that i went to in the local neighborhoods the single meal that was 60 pesos which is ridiculous and i'm gonna list what it all comes with <laughs> um 60 pesos and you're getting let's see you're getting half a half a chicken not half a chicken a quarter chicken rice papas salsa tortilla and a drink that's three dollars us if you go to the one on fifth right there or close by it's gonna run you 80 pesos which is four dollars fresh good food for four dollars a complete meal and it's good it's so good like i promise you you definitely have to try that out and you could eat there every day and it's going to be inexpensive you're not going to break the bank you're not even going to miss the the 80 pesos or the 60 pesos that you paid for that meal so el petrugan add it to your list check them out some of the best tacos you're going to find in mexico find in Playa del carmen street tacos you will find street tacos on the streets <laughs> you'll find them a lot of places the best street tacos that we found 30th by Super Aki, by um, Mega Soriana, by that Scotia Bank. There is a line of food, not food, yeah, food trucks and taco stands, and you have so much to choose from. Oh my God. The list is huge. Burritos are 65 pesos, and they're big. Tacos are 15 pesos, 75 cents for a taco, and unlimited. The toppings are just. I never tried the toppings we did the tacos i don't know we put a ton of stuff on there and we're going to do beef and chicken but they had beef like four ways chicken a couple different ways um pork as usual 
they had chicharrones, like so much. And it is so good. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know how they do it. It is so good. And I'm not gonna lie. This and the next place that I'm gonna talk about after, I was a little bit hesitant. Like, I wanna eat street tacos because I we did bring charcoal pills and we've been taking our probiotics. And I feel like we have stomach of steel. I think we have stomach of steel because we haven't gotten sick. Knock on wood. We've been fine. But you know, you're like, uh, do I eat here? Like, you know, how is everything going? Whatever. But what I noticed, they were washing their hands. They have their little thing there with their water, fresh water coming up. They wash their hands. They're sanitizing. They're wiping down. So, you know, after like two seconds of standing there, I wasn't scared to eat from that place because I could see they take sanitation, you know, seriously. So the, do not be scared, do not be hesitant. I am so glad I finally stopped there and we ate food because we've been going there a ton. 15 pesos, I, three tacos and I'm full. Three tacos a drink and I'm full, 45 pesos. You grab a soda or what, a bottle of Coke, Sprite, whatever, 11 pesos. So like for 56 pesos, $2.50 or close to $3 and you have a whole meal. That is ridiculous. Street Tacos, 30th, by Mega, Super Aki, Scotia, right in that area. Just go to any one of those, those uh, vendors. You be good. The next place that we checked out, Las Quakers. This is the place that we, after we ordered, we're like, oh man, we should, we should not ordered here. We should have just left. We should have gone somewhere else to eat. <laughs> but, when I tell you my 15 year old, he's like, I saw my privilege show up just now. Like we were about to leave because it wasn't dirty, it wasn't nasty or anything. It's, when you're just used to certain things or you expect certain things, you know, you, you know you're in Mexico, so you, you should adjust your thinking or your attitude. And that's exactly what we've done. So I'm just telling, you know, just telling you the backstory and whatever. Um, he literally said it he's like we are so privileged like we were about to walk out because we didn't like how the place felt or you know it wasn't to perfect standard or you know the kitchen sink was just it's it's crazy nothing was wrong with the place that the, those ladies were after every they, they did the the um tortillas wash their hands they put the meat on wash their hands they got the plate wash their hands they wiped that down and i'm like why were we so scared <laughs> You know what I mean? We all have that little weird thing, whatever. But let me tell you, those chicken tingas, the beef tingas, when we bit into those tacos and I bought a sopa, sopes, sopas, so it was so good. Like that's one of the different tacos that I've eaten here. I've have I haven't tasted any like that place before. And my friend Christina, hey Christina, you, a couple of these places she introduced me to because she's been coming here for so long and she's been eating at Las Quakers for forever. So I'm like, I know she's not gonna steer me wrong and she's been doing it, so you know we're gonna be fine, whatever. But it is so good. It's 15 pesos for the tacos and at 18 pesos for sopes. It is 18 pesos and you can choose from chicharrones, beef tingues, chicken tingues, um, poblano strips, black mushrooms. So you have a couple of choices of things that you can choose from. And they make the tortillas fresh from scratch. You see them sitting there kneading the dough, making it, then they just form it, throw it on the flat, griddle looking thing that's not a normal griddle but that thing cooks up those tor tortillas and tacos so good um and that is also located on 30th by the mega the the um the super aki and the banks and stuff like that so if you're you're going just walk all the way down to 30th and i know some of these directions because directions in mexico is so weird like you have 20 avenada and Cali 20 Norte, like, it's <laughs> the same, same numbers, but, you know. So, um, yeah, I just Google it, but I'm just giving you the idea of where they are. So good. 
Last Quakers, definitely put it on your list. Fish tacos, like I will eat fish tacos until the end of time. I love me some fish tacos. And we went to uh, La Floresta. That place is so good. It's a little further if you're staying on fifth, so you might want to jump into a cab or just walk. It's it's not that hard. It's not that okay. It's a little bit far, <laughs> but it depends on how you know how much you walk and how much you want to walk. Um, it is over by the right by the the highway, right by the the um, the freeway, just right there. But that place has some good fish tacos. All the tacos, 25 pesos. It is simple. It doesn't have a lot of fluff, a lot of tomatoes and carrots and, you know, cabbage chopped up and this sauce and that. It's like two fish taco, two fish fillet deep fried on the tortilla. You get your sauces that you can put on it yourself. And it's amazing, it's mind blowing amazing. It is so good, it is fresh. Like we, when we got it, so we've been there twice. When we got it and we bit, like you bite into that thing, you think it's still in the fire. That's how fresh and good it is. So, you know, let it cool down for a little bit <laughs> before you bite and break it. So the steam can come out before you bite in because you're gonna get burned. But it is so simple. You know, unstuffy and un, you know, all of that. 25 pesos. And we went through like four or so each. And apart from the the deep fried fish, they have marlin, they have crab and shrimp, and it's all 25 pesos each. Ridiculous. Put La Florista on your list. A must eat. If you love fish tacos or shrimp tacos or crab tacos or marlin <laughs> so good okay so for the fifth and last for this video um i was choosing like i said i had so many to go over but i'm just choosing this you know five for now i couldn't leave out or leave the, the fruiteria for another day i've posted on instagram about this fruiteria at least a couple times <sighs> fresh fruit smoothies Fresh agua, fresh fruit, up like it is so good. You are getting these big old things, one liter uh, cups and jugs for 30 pesos, a dollar fifty. Where in the US are you gonna go and get a dollar fifty for fresh juice? I mean. If you know, you know, you can tell me, I'm not gonna fly out there to get it, but nowhere where I live in Florida, I'm gonna get that. At least 10, like fresh, we're talking fresh, fresh, like fresh, fresh. You're not gonna find that. 30 pesos. The smoothie that Jarrell always gets is banana, strawberry, I think it was like coconut water or whatever it is, a blend up with some other fruits. 45 pesos, $2.50. I'm not talking little things, I'm talking big things like this. If you see me posting, they're big. They're huge. And you can get those for, for 30 to, to 45 pesos, depending on what you're getting. They have sandwich, 25 pesos. Tortas, 45 pesos. Fresh made right in front of you. The fruit stand is on 25th by um, 25th and 2 Norte. Before you, re you get to Juarez, you'll see the fruit stand. You'll see like a, a whole line you won't be able to miss it. There's fresh foods just lying in the entire place. So just go all the way down 25th to two. And right before you get to um, Juarez, you're gonna see that place. Super good, super fresh. It is so perfect on hot days. Like I would walk, it, it is a decent walk, maybe 10, 11 minutes from where we are. Decent is, you know, 10, 15 minutes for me. <laughs> Cause I walk like two seconds and I'm tired. <laughs> But I would walk there for fresh fruit juice. But then the thing is, you can find these places at a lot. You can find them, you know, more um, frequently around the area. That's just the one that I really like. There is one, um, La Ciba de la 30. I did that one. They were, I think, 30 or 40 uh, pesos for their drinks. That's really fresh and everything too. But it wasn't the one liter. It was, you know, smaller. 
But still, even if it's not one liter, you don't want to walk to some of the fruit stands. You want to get it somewhere else. You can still get big old things of fruit water. Because it's fruit water, like they blend it with water or they soak it in the water. So it's like refreshing and you get the, you know, the good fruits and you have it just there. For a dollar, two dollars. And you're eating fresh, good food. It, it's crazy. You can eat on the low, low, low. So you can eat, I'm going to say you can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner for like 150 pesos. Because if you're going to eat the chicken for dinner, 60 pesos, you can eat, drink one of the smoothies for breakfast, 40, 45 pesos. So you're now, you know, like 110 or so. And then for lunch, you can eat a sandwich or a torta for 25 to 45 pesos. Yeah, you can, you can eat for five, six, seven dollars for the entire day. You don't have to go all fancy and eat, you know, steak. I'm always eating steak. Like, I love steak. So I'll hunt, hunt the restaurants down. And, but it's still not expensive if you want to eat steak every day either. Because you're, you're paying maybe $10 for a ribeye or something at a rest, you know, nice restaurant. $15, $15 maybe. But for, yeah, depends what comes with, you know, stuff. But it's still not going to be expensive. These are just things that you can get super, super inexpensive if you're really on a tight budget or you're just trying to, like I say, eat two days super inexpensive so you can ball out and eat the steak, you know, the next day. So, um, yeah, these are the, the ones that I am talking about today. I will be back with more in another video. As you know, as we find them, I'm posting. I'm like, oh, my God, just eating up all the food. We've been eating up all the food oh my goodness all right you guys that is it for this video as usual go ahead and give me that thumbs up you know like this video if you enjoyed the content um if you enjoy what we're doing over here traveling um you know just world schooling nomading just living living life with intention go ahead and turn on the notification bell so that you're not missing out on any of our adventure, anything that we post, give us a follow and we will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.